serpent wants us to not can you share the history of this crocodile bank history of the crocodile bank crocodile bank was started in 1972 with the intention to actually have a gene pool for crocodiles that are found in the wild uh, critically endangered species highly endangered species so then we started off by having three species three species that are found in india three species the mugger the saltwater crocodile and the indian gharia so in the early 80s in the late 70s early 80s there was a huge die out of the indian gharia all like breeding adults started to die out so we were called up and we wanted to know why these animals are dying why are the adults dying so then we actually started off breeding gharials over here as a backup population we still have a backup population we also set up a hatchery closer to where they are found on the river chamber so since we are studying now the tiger is the flagship species for a forest if you study the tiger and if you protect the tiger you will protect the elephant you will protect the spotted deer you will protect the wild boar you will protect the trees and plants and birds the indian gharial is the flagship species for indian rivers so if you protect the biggest the flagship species you will protect the turtles you will protect the fish you will protect the people that are living off the rivers so that is what we wanted to do study the ecosystem find out what was wrong with the uh, rivers indian rivers are considered to be the dirtiest in the world yeah and these are the animals that clean up our rivers clean yeah. so the muggers if they find any any weak animal or any flow any dead animal in the water they will go deep turtles also do the same thing they clean up our rivers so if we start killing animals that clean up our rivers our rivers will just become dirty and dirty and dirty so now since we have been doing such a great job at saving critically endangered species we have broadened our our uh, outlook so we have now 18 different species found around the world we are how 18 different, different species over here we are breeding critically endangered gharials mm. highly endangered siamese we are trying to breed the highly endangered to beast them but we have we haven't gotten success yet that is not going to stop us we are still going to continue you have to ask me questions when we talk is there are any branches for the stocker ban somewhere Now except this matter of field station now this is the other organization there's a field station in agumbe that is the agumbe rainforest research station so there are a lot of research is happening on the rainforest so we are studying the streams over there we are studying the birds over there mm. we are studying the fish in the streams we are studying the amphibians the tree frogs we are studying spiders we are studying lizards but the main animal the flagship animal is the king cobra So the king cobra is found in the western ghats is found in the agumbe rainforest so that is the flagship species you study and protect the king cobra you will protect the forest you will protect every other small animal there also we also have a research facility in the uh, andaman and nicobar islands so that is studying the island ecology mm-hmm. so again three different organization three different teams studying three different ecosystems that is what we are about so can you say about some research work is undertaken Yeah. Yeah. PhD. PhD will be very difficult unless they want. Uh, now, no. this is a big classroom. If a student has something to study, like say one particular type of crocodile, this is one classroom that they can come and use to study that. We have eighteen different crocodiles and turtles and snakes and lizards. If they want to come and study it in a controlled environment, this is would be a good classroom. We have a world class library. They can come and use it. They can. It's inside. Like I won't be able. To. Yeah, you'll have to come meet our curator, meet our director. Then I can give you a full guided tour of our off display areas, our quarantine zones, our feeding zones, library accommodation. So we have everything in house. So if a student wants to come and use this place as a classroom, he can come stay with us. We can provide accommodation, food. and like a brilliant class is there a fee there is now we do charge a fee for accommodation and food much less depends upon the student if the student really can't afford to pay maybe 300 rupees a day he can always come to us and like approach us and say that. and we will definitely take that into consideration but then again we also need to survive we also need to provide the food and accommodation so yeah we are not one of those 
fund, uh, shows that have like 100 crore, 200 crore funds every year. We don't get funds. All we live off is our ticket funds. Students do come and contribute. Now, they, we have a lot of projects going on. We are studying the Mariyar, we are studying the Milano Film Study. They can come and help with those these projects. They will have to talk about it later. Okay, how many members is working? We observe them properly, we can learn lots from them actually. And uh, the crocodiles can, uh, they have this beautiful mechanism where they can cut off blood, blood supply to whichever uh, limbs they want. So if they cut, if they, uh, their limbs get, limbs get cut off or anything, they will stop their blood flow from that. And uh, uh, their blood is also very uh, uh, antibacterial and it uh, heals faster. And uh, there are new, they are finding out uh, new serums from the alligators and uh, crocodilians' blood, uh, which might help us to stop uh, diseases and uh, cure diseases faster. So, uh, not, not, we are not uh, doing research, but uh, people abroad from Southeast Asia, uh, from here Indonesia, they are doing research on this. Uh, I'll be the person. We didn't have any medicine. Uh, no, we don't uh, make medicine. Yeah, we do have a range of antibiotics, antiseptics, and, uh, uh, and a few tranquilizers. So, but yeah, uh, we have a whole consulting uh, uh, veterinary team that takes care of the injured. Uh, 